they're the new voices in the House and Senate, and while they might be newbies, they're already trying to make their mark. Ross, this comes at a critical time in the battle against Don't Ask, Don't Tell. That's because for the first time in a long time, the tides in Washington seem to be turning. After elbowing and shouting your way to a quick interview with some of the biggest stars, winning is actually getting them to say something entertaining. I saw George Clooney a couple of uh, moments ago. Did you say anything? No, I, I, my heart palpitated. Steve Carell says that he saw you and uh, his heart palpitated a bit. What do you think about that? Well, he can say that because I was with him one drunken evening and uh, he puts out. Just to give you an idea of the craziness that is sex in the city, hundreds of people waiting for hours just to get a glimpse of their favorite star. Now, how long before you stand on one of these and you don't feel scared at all? And I how long before you feel like they're paying you enough money for this? Los científicos ya se refieren a estas pruebas como todo un hallazgo. Para ponerlo de una manera más sencilla, las células madres ayudan a regenerar los tejidos y músculos. Some credit the Foley affair with the Democratic sweep in 06. Could this really have the same effect on the presidential election, or do Republicans have enough time to make this go away? She's Liza with a Z. And he's Itai with an I. And we have some Broadway breaking news, so don't go away. So this is what you call in TV land a junket, the uh, Billy Elliot kids over there being interviewed. Josefina Scaglioni from West Side Story being interviewed over here. And right over here is Allison Janney, who's going to be interviewed by CNN in two seconds. Virtual shows are shot and edited just days before Fashion Week kicks off, then webcast while other designers are under the tents. Instead of 30 models, one or two can cover the runway. How many looks are you uh, putting on today? I don't know, maybe like 10? Do you 15? get paid 10 times as much? Hmm, maybe I should ask them. <laughs> What's the first thing you need to think of when walking the virtual runway? Here I go. Here I look I go. amazing. I look amazing. I love what I'm wearing. I love what I'm wearing. Ready? Yes. Boom. Feel the beat. Move your arms. Look straight ahead. And bam. And CBS 2's Itai Hot explains Twitter now offers everything from Sunday mass to internship opportunities. If you think Twitter is for losers with too much time on their hands, think again. The Twitter craze is reaching some high places. Trinity, a church in downtown Manhattan, is now tweeting their services. For people out there who are going, oh no, even church, Twittering, what do you say to them? Say, so get with the program. Can't make it to Sunday Mass? Tweet the Lord. Just don't push your luck. Anthony New York asks, what about confession via Twitter? Impossible. Twitter is a website where people answer one simple question. What are you doing? The answer goes out as a tweet in 140 characters or less to anyone who signs up to follow you. Last night, we hit our one millionth follower on Twitter. Forget Spago, Twitter is where Ada celebrities love to dish. And it's not just Hollywood. We're gonna start the surgery. Doctors are tweeting surgeries. Cops use it to catch bad guys. And Pizza Hut is now offering summer twinternships. The worst thing you can do is think that everything you do is interesting. Peter Shankman is a social networking strategist with 38,000 followers on Twitter. He showed us the power of just one tweet. And I'll, I'll put your username and I'm talking to you. And then uh, we'll see how many new followers you get. 48 followers, 105 to 127. That's incredible. <laughs> it may not be everyone's cup of tea, but for millions and growing, Twitter is home. Tweet home. Itai Had, CBS News, Twitterverse. CBS News, Itai Had reports. Iran's Revolutionary Guard says this is proof it's ready to crush any country that threatens Iran. A bold show of force that has the international community on high alert. The short-range missiles were fired just two days after the U.S. and its allies exposed Iran's underground nuclear facility near the holy city of Qum. Iran has since admitted to the site and claims it exists only to create nuclear energy. But U.S. officials estimate Iran is one to five years away from being nuclear weapons ready. We don't believe that uh, they can present convincing evidence that it's only for peaceful purposes, but we are going to put them to the test on October 1st. That's when the countries that make up the permanent members of the UN Security Council plus Germany will meet with Iranian leaders. It will be the first direct negotiations between the U.S. and Iran in 30 years. The U.S. says Iran must stop enriching uranium or face crippling economic sanctions. They expect Russia will be on board, but China's commitment is unclear. The Iranians are in a very bad spot now because of 
this deception. All of this has dominated headlines in Tehran, and reaction is mixed. This man says he's proud of his country's strength. This woman says she fears new sanctions will hurt the Iranian people. Iran promises to continue testing missiles over the next few days, despite the diplomatic ripple effects around the world. Itai Hot, CBS2 News.